Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mousetrap Genius. In today's episode, we're going to be addressing a question that we get all the time here on Mousetrap Genius, and that is, why don't we do a video about how to build a five gallon bucket trap? Well, we have just one small issue with five gallon bucket traps, and that is, they don't work. You see, the problem is, a five gallon bucket trap is about yay high. Mice can jump a lot higher than that. In fact, deer mice, like we have in my part of the world here, can jump 20 or 30 times their own height. So even though they're really, really tiny, they can jump like, ah, they can jump obscenely high. Now, to demonstrate this, I have, through a combination of trickery and the black arts, entrapped a deer mouse inside of this garbage can right here, which is, well, let, let's measure how tall it is. It is just under two feet or about 60 centimeters for you Europeans tall. Now, that is a good 60% taller than a five gallon bucket. So what we're gonna do now is just open this baby up and if the mouse can jump out of it, then we will have put the issue to rest once and for all that a five gallon bucket will not work to contain a mouse. Let's do it. All right, you guys, well, as we can see, our mouse was easily able to jump out of our two foot tall or 60 centimeter tall trash pail that we had right here. So if a mouse can jump out of that, then that should prove beyond the shadow of a doubt that a mouse can jump out of a five gallon bucket or pretty much any size of bucket you could realistically get in your house to trap the mouse in. Now, what I didn't tell you guys is I know from experience that this particular mouse, who I caught in my kitchen, by the way, is actually afraid to jump down from here. So I'm not gonna lose him back into my house. We're gonna let him go safely outside and we don't have to worry about that, but should still prove for our purposes that a deer mouse can easily jump out of a bucket. Now I do want to address just one thing and that is some people say you can make a bucket trap work by putting water or oil in the bottom of it or something like that. And that is true, it probably would work, but the problem for me there is it will cause the mouse to die a horrible slow death, either from drowning or exhaustion when it can't swim anymore. Now, why would you want to do that? I would never want to do that. And it kind of defeats the whole purpose of a live capture trap if it's just going to kill it. You might as well go out and buy, you know, a snap trap for like two bucks and kill it quickly that way. I don't want to do that though, and I certainly don't want to drown it. So I choose to use a live capture humane trap, which you can get really inexpensively and easily. I will go ahead and post the links to a bunch of them on Amazon down in the video description in case you're interested, or you can just check out any of my other videos about these traps. There are lots of safe, humane solutions that won't hurt the mouse at all and work way better than a five gallon bucket trap. Anyways, you guys, thanks so much for watching this video and special thanks to our kind, height shy, little friend here who can jump really well, in fact who can jump higher than he's afraid to get down from, for participating in this video and making it possible. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Mousetrap Genius for more awesome mouse and animal capture videos. Until next time, hope you guys have an awesome day. Thanks for watching.